first one we've got, it's set in Oxford. A Russian grandmaster is coming over to play chess against a machine. And then we went right from that to the second one, which was kind of the summer of love. A bag of pot and some marijuana cigarettes were found in the common room yesterday after you left. What is this? Some sort of frame-up? This rock band's very psychedelic. And then the third one is completely sterile. It's in a hospital, lots of nurses, doctors. It's a very particular look. When are you going to give me the inside story? There's a really nice relationship that's developed with Dorothea and Endeavour. All by you and Inspector Thursday's daughter. Endeavour has a bit of a hard time on this one. Bit of heartache, bit of work problems. You're all right. You don't look as though you've been sleeping. You've lost weight. Not in love, are you? <laughs> 1967 is a time that so much was happening in the world and in Oxford. People certainly admire Roger's age. We can remember all these things as kids. You have a real reference to it, so it's, it's fun. I think a lot of these stories are all about progress. What progress is, how we do things in a different way, if anything actually is, if it is progress. You have the power station juxtaposed against this tiny, odd little village, these two worlds combining. What I've enjoyed most is working with Sean, the emotional story between them. You do. Didn't have your head in the clouds all the time. You might have gone better with your sergeant. They're, in a way, quite romantic uh, detective stories. The individual who tries to be decent and have a kind of moral code in, uh, in a dirty world. You have to make a stand somewhere. They're not going to drive me out. <laughs>